Um, Riker towards ACL, so he's going to be a long term. Um, Ralph uh, had actually surgery on his middle finger this morning. He'll be probably a month. Um, everyone else is kind of day to day, nothing long term. I mean, we got some bumps and bruises. Uh, AP, same way. You know, we we could see him in the next couple of days. Could see him in a week. You know, we just don't exactly know. But he's not a long term injury. Same thing with Morris, Manny. These guys are working back. Uh, same thing. Yep. Yeah, tight. He has a minor cancer thing. Of James didn't angle just for a bit. Yeah. How tough is it as a coach to see somebody work their tail yeah. off to get out there and then get hurt in camp? Years yeah, like it's it's one of the worst parts of the game, you know, uh, being physical. Because he's a great kid. He's worked really hard, um, and so uh, yeah, we're surrounding him. He's got a bunch of teammates to support him, uh, but it's definitely tough. Um, I think Tristan's been sharp. I really do. Um, the way he's moving in the pocket, and Jake the same way. Jake made some big time throws today, and so I think both those guys are playing high level. They did seem sharp. I mean, today they seemed pretty sharp. Uh, I think so. I mean, we did some more third down. Did third down on Saturday and today. Some new concepts, and those guys you could tell have been working in the summer because the timing looked crisp. And yeah, playing at a high level. What, what do you plan to do with uh, Jack in, in terms of quarterback? Right. He, he mentioned the plan was to redshirt. We're going to mix him in a little bit at quarterback. Um, wanted to give him a good start at linebacker because it's new for him, but you'll see him a sprinkle at quarterback uh, a couple days in camp. Okay. Can you talk a little bit about that decision to kind of have him quarterback and linebacker? It was kind of mutual. You know, he was. Uh, He'd been thinking about it. I mean, he saw those two guys that were kind of in front of him, and and with Jack's skill set, I thought he could present some things. Especially start with special teams and then linebacker, and, and actually two five practices, four practices. The guys, uh, he's looked pretty good at linebacker. So uh, the more reps he gets, the better he'll go. But also, we want him to be able to use a little bit of quarterback if needs. What do you think that says about him? The want and the need to help the team out, regardless right. of where he's playing or yep. position he's at. What do you think that says about him? It says a ton. You know, he's a great teammate. Um, he's all about the team and whatever's best for the team. I think also he wants to play and he feels like he can contribute to the team at, at linebacker. So it's a, it says a ton about him. You go uh, full pads tomorrow. We do. What, what, are you, what more are you able to do? When you're... It'll look pretty similar. We're not going to do much live tackling or anything. And that's, uh, you know, you can do that when you put on full pads. So it's going to look pretty similar to what we've been doing. Um, one of the things I was going to ask about social media. I mean, it looks like some of the players check totally out of social media. Did you guys talk to him at all before season at all about, you know, maybe stay off of that? Or no. was that just a personal thing I think with some of these guys? Or? No, we didn't. And that's not coming from us. I mean, we did talk about being focused this camp right. without distractions and dialing in on that. But um, no, there was no. That's, uh, that's, that's just, it's that's all just on those guys. Okay. Yeah. What does that tell you about that group, uh, your group? There. I think there's some maturity there. You know, I think these guys are uh, urgent about getting this thing right, and uh, they've been putting in the work the last week here, and we're going to sustain that. And I do. Th I like this group. I, I like this group the way they're working, the, how they're operating together, going back and forth competitively in practice. I like them. You got a new kicker in camp. You got cleared, they cleared the net there on the last one. Yeah, Jake's a nice addition. Yeah, first practice today. Uh, we're always just. Like we've been doing for a year now, trying to build some depth on the roster. Did you did you know much about him? Not a ton, but he went on the on the transfer portal, and he's looking for an opportunity. And we're definitely all about competition. I know it's only you know four practices in, but is there a position group or two that have really kind of stood out? And you see like a, a lot of growth, you know, from the, the spring to, yeah. to right now. I think the linebacker spots, both of them, outside and inside. The way their pass rushing is way improved from last year. We did nine on seven inside run drill, inside linebackers are showing up. So, you know, Ham, Anje, Tago, McCartan before he, he pulled, lightened his hamstring a little bit. Avery, Shamar's improved his game. Even Dougie T had a nice, nice summer and he made a couple plays, turnover today. So, that group stands out. You guys had a number of takeaways today in practice. I mean, you see a lot of that last year. Yeah, we saw some, but not, not in the games. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was good. I mean, that's an important part of the game with the turnover thing going, and, and guys are, are making some plays on the ball. Is there anything that's kind of helping lead to that? or anything? I think it's contagious. I think once you, you get one, it kind of builds on itself. But uh, I think offensively, you got to do a better job with the ball.